Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You wanna say hi, Alexander? Hi. All right, well, he's here with me today and we're gonna be making a new video. Um, normally we do a lot of like cycling videos, uh, and, some go-karts, right? Yeah. But and I think some, it's a great idea to do more technology. And some go-kart assembling building. Yeah, you like video. doing those? <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, we've had some requests about the lift in the back. Uh, and as you see, uh, this actually makes it so much easier to store uh, two cars in one garage spot. And so I'll show you some cars. of the details. And more cars. More cars too, exactly. Like your go carts, right? Yeah. All right. Well, now that I have the car out, uh, I figured I'd show you the lift in detail. So um, it's kind of like specs on my garage. Uh, the ceiling height is 129 inches. And so I'm able to actually put my uh, McCann GTS uh, underneath this, uh, you know, without any issue. I have plenty of room to clear. I almost feel like I have like five or six inches. Um, this is underneath the lift. So that's what it looks like. You'll actually see some of the, um, the pulleys and cables underneath. So they extend all the way to this side. So you can see it in a little bit more detail. This module over here is what, if I push this button, it's what allows me to raise and, uh, well, raise the car. And then this lever over here, uh, when I push this in, this will lower the car. This is the uh, front of the lift. As you see, there are some covers right over here that I have to watch when you um, pull the car in. But if you actually notice on uh, this section, there are actually um, locks basically that the um, lift falls into for safety reasons. Uh, and I believe they're every six inches on this. Uh, this one is the direct lift uh, 6S, I'm sorry, 8S. There it is. So just so you know, I bought my lift from Gary Bloom Sales. I've worked with, with Gary and his wife, uh, Barbara, you know, on purchasing this lift. Uh, they have amazing customer service and support. Um, and the staff who installed this lift were amazing as well. They actually did this pretty quick. So I am going to show you how to lower this car. And you'll see that in a moment. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lower this car. And to do that, I need to lift the car off the locks that I just talked about. So here, I'm gonna push this. The car is gonna raise. And basically that should raise that off of the locks. The next thing I need to do is this is the uh, locking mechanism. So if I pull this down, right, and then I hold down this lever, the lift will come down and I'll show you that in a second. All right, as you see, the car is all the way down. Now, in order to drive the car off, I actually have these ramps on the side, so I'll put those on in a moment. So these ramps come on like this. Well, this is what it looks like with the uh, ramps installed. It was very easy. I mean, these are pretty heavy duty. So this is how it just fits, it just slides right into there. If you look at the side, it's pretty low profile. The car is very low, so this works out, you know, perfect. If you look at the bottom of the car, you have this rubber piece on the bottom. It's very low, but 
makes it easy to drive on and off. So there it is. Well, I've removed those ramps and again, I just kind of lifted them and as you see, I have them out back. So they're easy to store and they are heavy duty. So there's some weight to it. And now we're going to lift the car. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, all I need to do is hit this button and the car will go up. So here we go. And you're gonna actually hear, once it gets above like my uh, knee level, you can hear it go like a clicking sound. It's more than a clicking sound, but that's telling you that it's engaging in the locks. So I literally just have my finger pushed on this particular button. That's all I need to do. Uh, that's the first lock. And again, the locks are every six inches. While this is going up, if you look, I actually have the garage door. It, since we had the house built, I had them frame the uh, garage door to go up to the ceiling versus in my wife's side of the garage, a little bit lower. We only needed it on one side. So anyways, as you hear, it's clicking. And this is their, the direct lift 8S. So I believe this is their smaller lift, which holds this car, but it is very tight. It's almost there. Has one more to go. All right, there we go. So that was the last click. All right. Um, and now, right now, this is suspended, you know, on these cables here. So we don't want to put too much tension because we don't want to store it like that. We need to have it come down on the locks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down this just until I can actually see those cables loosen. So I'm going to gently push down on it. And then you can kind of hear that. I can actually see this cable. See if you notice, I can kind of like wobble it a little bit. Once I've once I see that, I'm just gonna push this and just tighten it up a hair. All right, like that. Just so that way it's uh, taut, but not suspended on the cable. Cause you don't wanna leave it with too much tension. So that's what it looks like, um, again, with the car all the way up. Now, one of the things that you have to watch out for, other than ceiling height, is this, and it's the width of your car. So over here, I, I barely have in any room on this side. And see if you notice the tires are kind of like flush to here. So if you actually look at that, that distance is basically from this point, basically up to the end of here. So when you're inside that car, that's not a lot of room for you to play with over here. Anyways, that's what it looks like. By the way, just as a note, you may notice that um, I have LEDs underneath. Um, and this was a simple add to this, and these are easily removable. Basically, these are um, this, like an adhesive backing on this. So you, it definitely illuminates underneath the lift, uh, which is nice. And if you decide to ever remove it, all you need to do is just peel it back like a piece of tape. But these change colors, so if you ever needed or wanted a different color underneath, you can do that. Uh, another thing I'd like to note are, see these, these are the drip trays. So you can actually move these and these, you know, these are very light. Um, it also comes with a 
jack tray, which is metal um, and very sturdy. So if you ever wanted to put a jack there, you can to jack up your car if you ever needed to change tires. Uh, but for the most part, these are the drip trays that come with the lift. Well, so I mentioned, uh, I actually bought this from Gary Bloom Sales and uh, I can't speak enough about the company and the customer service. I've worked with or have spoken to Gary as well as Barbara and they've been phenomenal and phenomenal in terms of being able to, you know, handle scheduling of the lift, um, the installation and answering any questions that I've had because installing a lift for the first time can be a little nerve wracking, uh, but throughout the whole process, they have been amazing. So I definitely give them five stars. I recommend them as a company. Uh, so if you ever need a lift and you are, or you live in the New England area, um, they do um, the ordering, the delivery, as well as the installation of those lifts. So thank you very much um, to that company and uh, you know, hope to do more business with you guys in the future. Thank you. Well, here is their sticker that goes on the lift in case any of you want their contact information. And again, this is a direct lift 8S. So I'm going to pull the Porsche Macan on the bottom and I'll let you guys see that. Okay, so the car is inside now, and as you see, it fits nicely underneath the lift. I don't know if you saw me in the video, I walked underneath the lift. I am about 5'6", so I can have this all the way up and it doesn't hit my head. So if you take a look here, there's plenty of room. Uh, and if your your garage is not as tall as this particular one, um, certainly if you have two cars, you could fit that. I just happen to have an SUV uh, and a sports car on the top. So this was able to fit both of these, but I don't think I could fit two SUVs on the top unless you have a taller garage. And I actually use like a laser um, measuring tool to figure out the height of my garage as well as to make sure that this fits. So this is what it looks like. I apologize about the messy garage in the background. This is it. So far, I've been extremely happy with uh, this lift. Uh, certainly it beats the cost of adding a third garage bay. Uh, I don't always drive the uh, BMW i8, so that's on the top most of the time, uh, but I do take out the uh, Porsche Macan GTS you know, all the time. Love the car, amazing vehicle. Uh, but anyways, these lifts are amazing. They're very easy to use um, for their operation. So I highly suggest it if you guys are looking for a lift. Again, Gary Bloom Sales. Well, I'll see you guys on the next video.